everybody. It's Hanukkah Mindfulness Day 3. I woke up with a lot of energy today and it's partly, partly because I'm cooking for a wonderful client that I'm very excited about and partly because Hanukkah is coming and I love Hanukkah. So I want to give a few tips about being mindful this Hanukkah. You can go back and see days one of two. There's going to be eight days of videos. So um, let's get started with today. Hi, Renat. How are you? Uh, this is also going to be available on my podcast at Lilia Ronan Healthier You on iTunes. So if you're not subscribed there, hop over and unsubscribe. Okay, Hanukkah Mindfulness Day 3. What is today's topic? Today's topic is all about actual food, and we're going to start with breakfast today. A lot of people are all obsessed with what they're going to be eating at night, at the Hanukkah parties, in the afternoon, at work, where there's donuts and cookies and all sorts of good stuff, right? And it can be really challenging. But what you may not be aware of is how you prepare for that challenge is going to have a lot to do with how easy or difficult it is to say, no thanks, I'm going to not eat that right now. Again, we're not saying don't have any treats over Hanukkah. We're saying that if you had a donut every time someone offered you one over Hanukkah, we know very easily where the five kilo Hanukkah pounds come from. Okay? Oh, we don't need that. In fact, my daughter uh, is gluten-free. And she, we bought her a box of four sufganiyot to like, you know, have for when they have at school and when they have at activities. And she was actually trying to decide when she should bring her sufganiyot to school on uh, Monday or tomorrow, today, because uh, next week, next Monday, <laughs> because they have a party at school and then they have a party at her football team where they will be playing their game and both are going to have sufganiyot. She's like, but I can't eat two a day. Like, oh, which one should I bring a sufganiyot to? It's obvious to a eight-year-old that having two sufganiya, which are each 500 minimum calories for the plain ones, okay, a day, the mini, mini ones are 350, the regular size ones, plain, 500, the ones with all the crap on them that are big are 800 calories, okay? It's like half your healthy food, um, for the day. Ridiculous, ridiculous, all saturated fat, white flour, white sugar, okay? So again, having one over Hanukkah isn't going to affect your results at all. Having one every single day or certainly having something every single time it's offered to you is going to be a huge amount of sabotage. So how are you going to say no thanks without it being this huge exercise of willpower? Breakfast. Yeah, I know. Uh, you may not be a breakfast person. You may say, I have coffee in the morning. Don't do that for the week of Hanukkah. Make the week of Hanukkah the week you eat breakfast every single day. Not just breakfast, but a protein-filled breakfast before your coffee. Before your coffee. If you're not, you know, a lemon water convert yet, there's still hope for you. You can try lemon water, which I promise you will actually help your body to wake up more than that coffee first thing in the morning. Eat anything with protein. You could try those Go yogurts, Greek yogurt that has a 20 grams of protein. You can try eggs. You can try what's, I mean, have a bean salad for all I care if you're vegan in the morning. I don't care. So have whatever you want that has protein in it first thing in the morning, all Hanukkah. What that's going to do is it's going to set the baseline for your blood sugar to be in a good place. Do you know what happens when you have coffee first thing in the morning? Do you know when that hits you? 3 p.m. You have a huge dip in blood sugar that is directly related to that coffee you had without eating first in the morning. That's exactly when someone's going to offer you a sufganiya. It's like they know your shields are down. And they're going to be offering you junk food, nonstop, deep fried junk food. Everywhere you walk, there will be stands of people shoving sufgani oat at you like hawkers at the shook screaming at you how amazing and how much you should buy their sufganiya. And you have to remember that once you start seeing something all around you, that's all you see. So it doesn't matter if you see like five sufgani oat around, all of a sudden you're going to turn around and that is all that you are going to see surrounding you, sufganiyot, okay? So please eat breakfast. 
eat breakfast, eat a protein rich breakfast. And you know what I would love? I would love in the comments of this video or on the podcast, if you're listening later, to let me know what protein breakfast you're going to make. You can find egg cup recipes where you can make in advance. You can try avocado and hard boiled egg sandwich in the morning. You could try um, mushroom cups with baked eggs inside. Again, something you can make ahead and have for the whole week. Not pancakes, not French toast, not anything that's high in carbs but low in protein. Yogurt with berries and granola, fantastic. Anything that is going to be high in protein is going to help you make good decisions throughout the day. One last case for breakfast, okay? If you're sleeping in, maybe you don't have to be at work, then you're going to sit down and make a really nice breakfast with your family. Include a salad, Israeli salad, with your breakfast, cucumbers and tomatoes. Not only is having those cucumbers, tomatoes in the morning going to help you to make good decisions later in the day, but knowing that you took that little bit of extra effort for yourself to make some vegetables is going to actually help your mindset so that when you're looking out throughout the day, instead of just seeing uh, trials and tribulations, instead of just seeing areas where you could stumble, you're going to actually start to see areas in which you can succeed. Next to the sign for the Sufganiya, they might be advertising a salad at the same time and even in the same place. But if your mindset is Sufganiya, I need to not eat them, all you're going to see is donuts. Your whole world is going to be filled with donuts and you're going to feel so deprived, which is completely not the point of Hanukkah, right? So light it up by having good food in the morning that's going to put you on the lookout for good food all day long. And that is going to help you to say no every time somebody offers you a sufganiya so that when you're ready to have one, it's going to be your choice and not falling into the trap of just eating what's around you. Have a wonderful Hanukkah, and I hope to see you for the whole eight days of this Hanukkah mindfulness videos here on Facebook or uh, later on my podcast.